If you're asked to balance the equation CaO plus P4O10, that's calcium oxide plus tetraphosphorus decoxide, here's how you do it. First, we count the atoms up for each element. One calcium, one oxygen, plus don't forget the 10 oxygens here. So we have a total of 11 oxygen atoms and then four phosphorus atoms. Product side, we have the three calcium and this two here goes to everything in the parentheses. So two times four, that's eight oxygen atoms, two times the one, that'll give us two phosphorus atoms. I could balance the calcium or the phosphorus. I like to leave oxygen until last. I think what I'll do is I'll balance the phosphorus because when I put a two here, that'll change my calciums around. So two times three, that'll give me six calcium atoms. And then for the oxygen, we have two times four, that's eight times two. So we have 16 oxygens and phosphorus. We have the two times the one, that's our two times two. That'll give us four of those. So we've balanced the phosphorus atoms. If we put a six in front of the CaO, now we're balancing the calciums. One times six, that'll give us six. Those are balanced, but we need to update the oxygen atoms now. So we have the one times the six, six of those plus 10 here, that gives us 16, and we're done. This equation's balanced. Probably the key here, leave oxygen to last, that usually works best. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CaO plus P4O10. Thanks for watching.